for this portion of the project, I'm going to show you the hyperbola that is made in an average acoustic guitar. So, the hyperbola we're going to find is based off of the width from here to here, and will be solely from this part of the guitar. So I'm going to be basing my dimensions of my hyperbola off of these dimensions right here. So what we need to use is that we're, all of these dimensions are in millimeters, so we need to change them to centimeters. And so it's given right here that 245 is approximately the width of the guitar. So we're going to change that to 24.5 centimeters. And then also the upper bout of the guitar is approximately 27.3 mm centimeters and that is approximately right here 27.3 and the lower bout is approximately 36.8 so what we need to find is from top to bottom through approximately right here. So now we need to find the distance from here on the guitar to about right here. And so they give us 324 and they also give us 165. So you can do 324 minus 165, which would get you 219 and one that is in millimeters, and we're changing it to centimeters, so it'd be 21.9 centimeters. And so 21.9 centimeters is approximately the distance from here to here. So next we need to find the center, and in order to find the center, we need to divide 36.8 by 2, and you would get 18.4. So that would be your x part of your center. And to find the y, you would have to assume since the part of the guitar from here to here isn't exactly in the center here. It's approximately about here. So you would have to assume that the y portion would be about 15. And so your center would be 18.4, 15. And so that would be about right here. Now that you've found that your Y is 15, you can find the second part of your asymptotes. So the next part would be of your asymptotes would go through here, right where your 36.5 is. And then you have to go 15 up from your center and so that would be around up here and so this would be your asymptotes going through here and so going through the center would be here it would be approximately through here Now, in order to find your A and B, you have to know that A, since the guitar is, the hyperbola of the guitar is on the x-axis, you know that A would be your x and B would be your y. And so A would be from the center to the width of your guitar, and that would be approximately 12 point two five centimeters and for your B it'd just be from the center down which we already found out was 15 centimeters so we've already found that A equals 12.25 and B equals 15 and that the center is 18.4 comma 15. 
with this information, we can find the equation of our hyperbola. And so we know that our equation, since um, the hyperbola is on the x-axis, that would be x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And so we take x minus 18.4 over squared over 12.25 squared minus y minus 15 squared all over 15 squared equals 1. So if you simplify this out, you get x minus 18.4 squared all over 150.06 rounded to the hundredth and then you get minus y minus 15 squared all over 225 equals 1. From here now we can find our vertices and our vertices are based off of our x-axis so it would be based off of our a value so they would be plus or minus 12.250. And so we add that to our center. This would be 18.4 plus um, comma 15 plus or minus 12.25. So for your vertices, they would be 30.65 comma 15 and 6.15 comma 15. Next we're going to find our foci and the equation for foci for a hyperbola is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And your a value is 12.25 for the guitar and your b value is 15. And so once you plug this in, you get that c squared is 375.06, and then find the square root of this, square root of this, c is approximately 19.37. So we add this number to our center, which was 18.25. And so your foci are 37.77 and 15 and negative 15. And from here, the next thing that we need to find is the equation of our asymptotes. And so the equation of our asymptotes are y equals rise over run. So you plug in your center and your a and b values, so you get y, y minus 15 equals plus or minus 15 over 2.25, comma, I mean parentheses, x minus 18.4. And this would all be your equation of the asymptote. And the last thing we need to find is our domain and range. So with our hyperbola for the guitar, we now need to find the domain and range. And so the domain is from left to right based off your x values. And so it would be bracket 0, comma, 6.15, because you're trying to find this point right here when it stops and then also then it'd be union bracket 30.65 comma 36.8 then it would now start back up at 30.65 and for your range it would be from your y values from bottom to top and so you would start bracket 0 you would go all the way until 
at the top of where your hyperbola ends.